Hello, Labas. I'm Ed Wieners, one of the programmers at Black Knights Film Festival, and it's a huge pleasure today to introduce you the most successful Lithuanian film of this year. It's Vesper. Unfortunately, you, if you are late, you are late. There are no more tickets for two screenings in Tallinn. Uh, but you maybe you will be inspired to follow the journey of Vesper and to see uh, it and to catch it in other, on other occasions. Christina Bojite, uh, Lithuanian director, she created this magical dark fairy tale to, together with Bruno Samper. And Christina, I'm really curious to ask you, uh, when you st started to develop this incredible world of, of first ever sky fi film in Lithuania? Uh, hello, hello. Poof! <laughs> mm -hmm. You presented like uh, so richly, widely, so I'm very, yes, <laughs> proud. <laughs> it's very, very nice. Um, well, it took us uh, six years. Mm -hmm to develop Vesper from uh, first idea, developing script, and finally when it came to the screens. But, uh, I mean, in writing the script, in parallel, we were already developing the world. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's a very challenging uh, to create science fiction movie. I mean, it's challenging to create uh, every movie, but science fiction movie where you need to build the world, it is extremely challenging because it's very expensive. And uh, already from writing ideas, uh, we were thinking how we will do it uh, and how everything mm -hmm. will look. So from uh, first moments, we started to develop a script. Uh, we also developed the world. Mm -hmm. When we do have two directors on set, we always wonder how you split who does who. Maybe ah. now it's a time to explain. I mean, in our movie, it wasn't only director duo, it was producer duo, mm -hmm. um, production designer duo, costume duo, so it, there were a lot of duos, mm -hmm. and everybody managed to work <laughs> perfectly well. And uh, because um, we think, like, how we work with Bruno, we always try to talk in one voice mm -hmm. with all the team, with everybody, that uh, not to have uh, um, problems that could uh, happen very, very well. And um, we work uh, together for many years and we already found a way how to function and uh, how to come to agreements. Because for us, it is the most important, not our egos, but uh, we always put a priority for the movie. And when there are two minds, two brain, so we can challenge each other, we can challenge each idea. And uh, we think that uh, it is for the best, mm -hmm. better for the movie. Yeah. Yes. Christina Vesper uh, had world premiere in Karlovy Vary Film Festival, then went, I think, now to more uh, than 20 international film festivals. But uh, we started to spread the news before premiere, and all industry uh, members, programmers, we, since day one, we whispered, Rafaela, 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 she's amazing, she's incredible. How did you find Rafaela Chapman? And was it easy to cast such a multi-talented young actress? When we wrote the script, uh, it was, yes, very, like, um, a big challenge. Mm -hmm. And we were wondering, will we find an actress, a uh, young teen actress? Because we wanted uh, um, Vesper to be acted by a teen, mm -hmm. not by a already grown-up girl who acts a younger one. Um, so we were already from the beginning searching for a teen, like a 13 year old or something like that. And um, we were working with casting agents in UK and uh, they were suggesting us uh, the girls. And we also were searching uh, for the girl who would already have a bit of experience, at least uh, a bit of experience. And uh, then we got uh, her photo, her videos, and uh, the look totally inspired us. I remember Bruno even said when he saw her photo, you know, I imagined Vesper like that. <laughs> because Rafaela really has physicality, physics. Uh, she's having something modern about young generation, like uh, some, some kind of a print. And uh, when we started to work with her to rehearsal, we saw that she's super talented because uh, she's, uh, she knows that acting, it is her career mm -hmm. and she will be an actress and she is an actress mm -hmm. and it is her job. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And she did everything for that. Oh. And uh, of course, we see in very pivotal, important role, Eddie. Uh, I'm a good driving instructor, Marsan, but you have also one a magical character who flies. He is oh. not human. Maybe you can introduce him to, yes. uh, to our audience. We have a very wonderful character uh, flying and talking drone. Mm -hmm. And uh, since the beginning of idea, we were always imagining Vesper walking uh, and being accompanied by a flying friend. So we um, created it. Mm -hmm. We built uh, really the drone. It took us uh, seven months uh, to create a real flying drone that was uh, in the set mm -hmm. uh, that was making a lot of noise and a lot of wind. <laughs> and uh, it was like um, very characteristic one. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, now he's also leading us to film festivals <laughs> and presenting a movie <laughs> and the audience is really, really loving him. And let's say what he, uh, he managed to get lost in uh, while coming back home from Karlovy Vary. It was a, a huge deal for producers. Yes. The actor got lost on, uh, on the way back home. Yes, he got lost uh, several times. Uh, he stayed a bit in Karlovy Vary after he stayed a bit in Cannes, also stayed a bit on the, in, in the U.S. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, he, he likes to travel. <laughs> And uh, Christina, uh, I I wouldn't never imagine uh, Vesper world without Ramona Srastauskas. You know, he is magic man behind camera. Uh, what he created, what we see, it's something uh, I don't even find words. You mean Ramona Srastauskas or Felix Sabrukauskas? Ramona Srastauskas uh, is uh, your pro uh, production uh, art. art ah, art yes, yes. Uh, I mean, it was also Ramona Srastauskas mm -hmm. and uh, Raymond Desdichu. Mm -hmm. So they were working together, creating uh, the world, materializing mm -hmm. the world. And uh, yes, I mean, what, what they did. They built they, all these yes, sets. Yes, how they mm -hmm. created, I mean, uh, all this... Um, tactile because mm. what we wanted with Bruno we wanted uh, the world not only to be seen but also to be felt mm. uh, that people would immerse into the world of Vesper that they would feel this mud this cold this uh, thickness and uh, and our production designers they just put everything into mm. life and people say after the movie that ah it was like <laughs> it was I could feel that mm. and uh, yeah it was great Ah, yeah, and then you already mentioned your DOP, Felix's, and how you built, uh, it's not the first time uh, together with you uh, he worked, but this time it's in a completely different style of his camera. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, we worked uh, really a lot with Felixas. We had to prepare this movie because it takes a lot of uh, uh, practical effects, mm. visual effects. Uh, so, I mean, we already had to know all the angles, ca camera movements, and to, to prepare for that. So, we were working, I don't know, half a year in advance before the movie, storyboarded everything and uh, uh, searching for the painters and for inspirations, how the movie should feel, how the movie should look. And I th think Felix has did a magic, a lot of magic. And uh, in the end, we of course must mention rounding score music, uh, where it was recorded. Uh, so Dan Levy, our composer, he created this beautiful score. He created one hour, 20 minutes of music, mm -hmm. and uh, it was recorded in uh, uh, Kroko, by Kroko Orchestra mm -hmm. uh, in Poland mm -hmm. uh, with uh, real orchestra musicians. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, it gives... Um, a lot, a lot of feeling, a lot of sensation mm -hmm. and a lot of emotion to mm -hmm. the movie. It, it, it puts it up. Mm -hmm. And it is released uh, as a soundtrack. It is possible to hear yes. Vesper's voice. Exactly. On Spotify, mm -hmm. it is possible to... I mean, audience can do. Either they can first listen and then to watch, or they can watch and then to listen and to remember and to treat, uh, I mean, uh, each scene uh, by, by, by the music. Mm -hmm. uh, 
because it's really really beautiful yeah v uh, vesper is uh, selected for competition among uh, best baltic films uh, vesper has very unique achievement already it sold 137,000 tickets in france no baltic films had ever reached that level and i think now Thierry Fremont, the bo big boss of uh, uh, Cannes Film Festival, he says to his team, no, 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 how could we had missed Vesper? Uh, how we could leave Vesper to Karlovy Vary and to other festivals if a film without Cannes logo uh, is capable to reach such big levels in French cinemas? Thank you for listening us with Christina. Thank you. As I said, no more seats, but what we can do. Uh, this is a sign of success. Uh, all seats sold in advance. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. Enjoy Tallinn and good luck in Baltic competition. Thank you.